Welcome to another episode of Shuffle Scuffle. We got some awesome guests and an awesome game lined up for you, and you're going to love it. But first, before we get into all that, you know we got to shout out our sponsor, Dragon Shield. They have the best sleeves in the entire multiverse. Good sleeves. The sleeves are literally awesome. We use them on every single one of our decks, regardless of if it's in this video or we're just playing casually. You won't catch any picking nerds not using Dragon Shields on their deck. We have an affiliate link in the description. Go there, buy all the products you're going to see in this video, the play mats and the sleeves, all from Dragon Shield. You can buy anything you see, and if you use our link, you're going to be supporting the nerd channel even more. There's one stipulation for this here gameplay series. Everyone who draws a token... Got to do it on infinite tokens. No, don't, no, no tokens brought from home. We don't do that. And we're hashtag not sponsored by them, but we are hashtag sponsored by Moxfield.com, the literal best way to build a deck online. I don't know what you're doing if you're not using Moxfield to build your online commander decks, but it is super easy to organize, tag, sort, price, and build your decks. So definitely get going with that. We got a Kamigawa Neon Dynasty commander gameplay. So let's get to the intros. Hi, my name is John Jones, also known as Korhatsuki. I'm playing my, I call it Operation Meteor vehicle deck. It's uh, Shurikai, Genesis Engine as a commander. I'm going to keep this opener. I'm not really doing a lot early, but the Kabira takedown might be a good removal spell. And then the Cyber Drive Awakener, uh, I guess I'll just hold on to that until maybe I play it later. Hey guys, Joe Cherries here. I'm playing Satoru Umezawa. This deck is all about playing small, little, tiny, unblockable creatures and then ninjutsuing in big things behind them. So opening hand's got a little risk behind it because it doesn't have too many lands, but if we can enter land drops, this hand will get us there with the ramp. It's me, BZ, and I'm playing Mono Black Junji Spirit Tribal. So I'm trying to leverage this awful, awful tribe into a victory by utilizing my graveyard and making things happen with Junji. This hand is nothing special, but if you saw this entire deck list, you'd be happy with this too. Hey, it's me, Rude. I'm playing Tatsunari Toad Rider. I'm going to be making a bunch of toads with Tatsunari whenever an enchantment comes in, and then I'm going to mutate those so that I can make even more of them. So I had to mulligan down to six. I kept this hand. It's got two lands, hoping to get one more, preferably a green source, so that I can get Elemental Bond down on turn three, and then just start drawing cards, and maybe this deck will break late. Welcome down to the table, guys. We're playing some awesome Kamigawa decks today. We're obviously playing for a signature on the coveted. Magic Carp. And to decide who goes first, we're taking the top comment from the last episode, which is whoever has the cheapest deck on TCG Player. Well, let's be clear, it's the second most like comment because we're not eating basic lands. All right, this deck right here is well over $1,000. I have a Force of Will hiding in there, so I don't think I'm going first. Uh, $614. This one is $613. Well, $1, so you're gotta be going first. John, how much is yours? Yeah, mine's 346. I don't know what you guys were doing, but. Yeah, he'll, but there's no chance John could ever beat us. I mean, how could he ever defeat us with his cheaper deck? Vehicles? <laughs> Come on. All right, uh, I am uh, ready to go. Let's have upkeep, draw. I will play because I have multiple opponents, maybe even more than. Count them. One, let me see. One opponent, two opponent, you don't have to count past that. Yeah, but I will say there are three opponents. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and then we'll have a Sea of Clouds come to play untapped. Anything else? And I will pass. All right, we're going to go ahead and draw for my turn. Oh, baby. I drew my favorite card in the whole deck, but unfortunately, I only have a tap land to start this game, so we're going to start with a Creeping Tar Pit. Not when you pass. see every day. I'll draw. But I do have a play, and I think Cherry's going to be quite jealous of my... 1-1 one, one Unblockable Spirit. No! Last turn. I actually don't. That is one of the few of those kind of effects that is not in my deck. Spirit Tribal on the board. I'll draw, and I'm just going to play a Shipwreck Marsh tapped and pass. All right. So, oh, keep draw, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play Sky Cloud Expanse, tap two, and play Reckoner Bank Buster. And it enters with three counters on it. And then I will yes. draw. All right, unfortunately, we're going... Tap land skis all day today. Oh, wow. This is a very unfortunate start for me, but we do get to deploy my favorite card in the whole deck, the Ginger Brute. The Brute's got to get the beats in, and, I mean, can we be friends, Beasley? Can we not I think so. Beat I each think other back? All right, I think I have to hit John Jones for one, because he's shown himself to be a big threat. He's intimidating. And then... I, <laughs> Joe's just literally threatened by him. <laughs> uh, he's so scary! No, I'm not. Menacingly. Menace. Menacingly. He's just sitting there. <laughs> Menacingly. I'm then going to play... He's been working out. 
John Jones has been working out. I keep seeing all his workout videos. That's true. And he's always lifting That's more true. weight, which means he's stronger. And I'm just getting weaker because I'm getting old and fat. So you know he's going to beat the crap out of me. So on a top draw, it's the better. Don't touch him. On tap draw. <laughs> yeah, fair. I'll take that one. Gathering, yeah. I will play a swamp and a pyre of heroes. So I can birthing pod a creature into the same type. We're going to go even and hit Tim Rude for one, even though we're still best friends and I love him. No, we're best friends. High five. Yeah. Woo! I'm going to untap. I'm going to draw. I'm not friends with anyone. Dang. I don't know. 39 Life down. Alliance over here? No, he said he was friends with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play a swamp and I'll pass the turn. Okay. What, are you holding up some sort of spell? Let's keep drawing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no one believes you. I will play a Command Tower and a Dig Site Engineer. Oh, I love that card. Absolutely a big fan of that. Yes. Yeah. I will crew. Yep, yep. Reckon their bank buster for three. I will swing four at Joe Cherries. That is a fair attack. One, two, three, four. I will pass the turn. All right. Untap, draw. All right, we're going to deploy a River of Tears. Then we're going to tap two of these lands to play a Fellow Our Stone. Ah, the artifact deck. Yes, we're playing lots of artifacts this, this time. Let's get into the combat. We will send. Uh, I don't want John Jones to beat the crap out of me all game. So, all right, bees, you can retaliate now. Oh. So we were friends for like one second, and what? the tangible benefit of that was one life. <laughs> oh, hold on, I, do we, well, I guess we can be a little bit better friends. I guess if we want. What kind of quality friendship did we have where you're just gonna attack me the next turn? Orbit friends. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. For, so I'll attack. I'll be yeah, I'll only one. I'll send one at your busy shirt, and I will send zero at Tim Rude. But we're gonna do some ninja tricks. No, I'm taking zero. And we're gonna put Yuriko into play. Oh boy. And we're going to have a trigger on Yuriko to reveal the top card of the library, which is a land, and you guys will lose zero. Okay. I will then replay the Ornithopter, and I will pass to Beezy. Okie dokie. Draw a card. Oh, that was a very interesting draw. I'm going to play a War Room, and I was going to crack this Wayfarer's Bubble, but I drew a Saga. Tribute to Horobi. Okay, you can run the rats in, we can all run the rats into each other, and then BZ doesn't get them. All right, show me your rats. Y'all get one. Right. Chapter one. You're also gonna get one for chapter two. And I thought it was interesting because normally the rats just run into each other, but Joe's got a lot of creatures worth chump blocking. Wow, it's, it's wow, nice politics. Uh, let's run them into each other. But what's the difference between running them into each other and then chump blocking your guys? They still die. I don't even, I'm not even asking for the rats back. I'm just worried about Yuriko triggers. And pass. All right, I'm gonna draw. All right. I'm going to shock in an overgrown tomb. I'm going to pay three for an elemental bond. And then I'm just going to pass. Untap, upkeep, draw. I will tap two in order to tap the Reckoner Bank Buster to draw a card. And I'm going to play Adawara, Soaring City, and Ethereum Sculptor. Alrighty, anything else? I will pass the turn after that. Alright, you sure you want to run that rat over here? I am to death. We got a whole other turn sure. to do that. It's fair, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's fair, guys. Yeah, Alright, so we'll untap here and we'll draw. Alright, for turn, my land will be a swamp. I'll tap two, play a talisman, another artifact from my artifact deck. Not any other theme, right? It was artifacts. It was always artifacts. <laughs> I'm gonna go to combat. We're gonna send both of these at BZ. Well, I have no blocks. And then we're going to ninjutsu the rat. R.I.P. R.I.P. rat. So he'll go back to my hand, but cease to exist immediately after. And we will put ingenious infiltrator onto the battlefield. Oh yeah, that guy, that guy never gets old. I love him. So we have triggers. We will draw two first. Beezy, did you take your three? I'll take my three. And then we'll reveal two cards because two ninjas hit and you guys will lose seven. Great. Cool. And you'll lose one. Okay. I will cast my Fairy Seer and Scry 2. I'm going to put both of these, uh, I'll put both of these in the bottom. And pass to BC. Untap, upkeep, draw, and then there's a trigger on my Saga. You guys get another rat. Ooh, another set of rats. Remember the things I do for you. He's back. These are not gift rats. Where's the backside? Ta it takes the rat. It steals the rats. All right, and our new rats. Yep, we've got the return of the rat from before. He's back. Return of the rat. The rat is back. Right. Swamp for turn. Oh, beasy. It doesn't match. We're going to be... I know, I didn't get all of the ones in time. We're going to clock in 
I guess it's the person who just dealt 21 damage for zero mana. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take No, 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 it cost me two mana to do that. Oh, my bad. My bad. I'm going to use this Pyre of Heroes. Let's see what two drop spirits I have. How exciting. I'm taking my time. I have no idea what I can get. All right, I don't want to be the odd man out without a blocker. So I'm going to get Baleful Eidolon. You know, the one one with Death Touch. You know. I, was, I don't you even know. have to remind you. You know. You know. Uh, after that, I'm going to pass turn to Tim. I will draw. Now, Tim, on your turn, I would suggest running your rats in the thing. I'm sure you would with your 75 combat damage triggers in play. That has nothing. That is not the reason. <laughs> That's the reason. No, the reason is the rats. Just, there's no reason to give them to you for free. Tap out of your blockers, Tim. All right. I will run my rats into you if you do not attack me. I can only eat one of them. So send one of them at me, and then John can trade off one of his. I mean, technically, he could. But I need you to agree that you will not attack me. Oh, I'll agree. And I want you to stack your deck so that I don't take any damage off Tetsunara. I, I, I cannot control what Yuriko does. Fine. I will go to combat and I will swing one at John Jones with this rat and one at Cherries. Yep. We'll go ahead and trade my rat off. I'll trade that rat. They will die. I'll go to my second main and I will play my commander. Ooh, foul by an enchantment. Trigger. I will get to draw a card. And then I'm going to play... Wizard class. Ooh, nice. spicy. Wizard. Bet you wish you had the sweet arena version that was way better. <laughs> I will get a 3 3 Kimi. And I will draw a card. Yeah, oh, that's. Oh, the spice is real. But no max hand size. And I have no max hand size, and I will pass the turn. Okay, well, un untap, I'll keep draw. I'm going to go directly to combat. I'm going to tap Dixite Engineer to crew the Reckoner Bank Buster. And I will have. Another four barreling towards Joe Cherries. Please. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and... Oh, and this rat. And the rat. Yes. If only you had a rat to chump block with. Yeah, True. I don't have a rat to trade off with, unfortunately. Joe's learning lessons about these rat tokens. No, they should have... Oh, yeah, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have ninjutsu mine. I should have used my ornithopter. That was foolish of me. Now I'm realizing. Taking the rats for granted. <laughs> he was so scared of the rats, he wanted them off the board. Right. By any means necessary. Like I feel like whatever lesson is here was also in, like, Ratatouille. All right. I'm going to take five, unfortunately. Ugh. Oh, no, wait, I'll block the rat for free. Sure. Yeah, and I will take four. And the rat doesn't die. And then I will pass the turn from there. All right, we'll go ahead and untap. Draw. Turn, I'll play my land and it'll be Shizo Death's Storehouse. Just gonna ignore that. Because all my creatures are black. I'll just pretend like it was a swamp. Go to combat. Uh, we're gonna retaliate at Mr. Jones and we'll send one up easy. What the heck? That's just free. You're about to get a rat. That's just free. And you're gonna get a rat. A rat? Uh, so these two are at you is a 1 3 and a 2 3. Okay. So for blockers, I'm going oh. to flash in Shimmer Mirror, which costs one less because of Ethereum right. Sculptor. And I will pay two to get a Star Star. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. that was spicy. Star Star Artifact Creature. Uh, all right, and then I have a Construct here. All right, what's the, the power toughness on that bad boy? One, two, three, four. All right. So currently a four, four. You got any other moves on you, Cherries? Uh, yeah, before I think blockers, I think I'm gonna exile the Construct for four mana. Oh, the hard cast Deadly Relic. Hard cast Deadly Relic, making me regret not playing my commander before going to combat. All right, the Construct will perish. Yes, and then you have blocks. I do have blocks. We have a one, three, and a two, three. Um, I will block your Yuriko with a one, two. Ah, uh, I'm gonna double block your Yuriko. That's fair, yep. So we have so this will die, and we will have two triggers here, one draw and one Yuriko trigger. And Yuriko will die. Yep. So we will draw first, and then we will hit the zero on the Atawa. I think you owed us a zero. Yeah. You might still owe us a zero. <laughs> I will then cast Baleful Strix and draw a card. This is artifact deck. Yeah, what's going on? I'm trying to take it back. <laughs> yeah, four artifacts. Kind of trash. And I'll cast a Hypnotic Sight. I'm the enchantment dude. <laughs> it's taking everything from us. <laughs> I'll pass to BZ. All right, and Seth, I'm going to crack this Wayfarer's bubble. What? That's what you were holding on man. That's what I was holding up. Who could have ever seen this coming? All right, I'll get a swamp, and I'll start my turn. Let's draw. Oh, 
There's a mountain on your side. Oh, darn it. <laughs> well, I'm going to just treat it as a swamp, just for posterity. I will trigger the saga. When it transforms, guys, the apocalypse oh is my. here. I'm gaining control of all rat tokens. It's not even untapped. <laughs> Joe is like, the sky is falling. Well, it was just free to run them into each other. It wasn't the skies falling. Oh, you're giving me some heavy incentive to keep stupid dummy chump blockers around. Let's play a land for turn. It's Phyrexian Tower. Not a bad land. I'm going to actually make a decision, surprisingly. It's going to be to cast Junji, the Midnight Sky. Is that good? good? good. <laughs> it's, 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 good. it's regular good. It's not good good. Okay. I will then go to attacks, and we got a 3-3 three, three here to send pretty much wherever. Let's wow. Go. Do you want to send it to my Belfull Strix? No, I'm oh. going to send at John, and I'm going to sacrifice this rat to draw a card. Pretty much anywhere, except for at one of my three options. Hey, man, no, we, no need to nitpick. <laughs> okay, I don't think I want to turn this into a three drop. I think I want to just pass turn to my friend Tim. All right, I will untap. Tim is my friend. He would never betray me. Oh, I'll betray everyone. Dang. Dang. Say that out loud. You just said you'll betray everyone. Everybody. If you ever play with Tim Rude, whoever you are, don't trust him. He'll betray you. He How do you betray that. yourself? All right, I'm going to tap three mana and level up wizard class. That is the wrong Yeah, dice. you must be new here. We use the black dice to denote non-plus one, plus one counters. I'm going to play command beacon for my land, and then I will play out destiny spinner. Okay, so we're going to lose one and you're going to gain one. And I'm going to pass. I'll keep a draw. I'm predicting very little will be done on John's turn. You are correct. Um, what does he have some sort of way of giving all this stuff? Well, yes, Joe. Oh, oh, yeah, I got to read the cards. So I will cast my commander now. And I will spend one, two. Sorry, Bankbuster, you've been a pilot. You've been, yeah, you've you've been, been one upped <laughs> pretty heavily. I'll throw away Ao, the Dawn Sky. Ao, and I will play Kabira take down as a tapped land. All right, you got there. I will pass turn. All right, we're gonna go ahead and untap over here. Thankfully, it seems like attacks are pretty bad on this board. We'll we'll see what happens. So we'll draw. So I have the best. We're gonna start with a land for turn that'll be Exotic Orchard. I'm going to tap this, this, and a swamp. We will cast our commander, Mr. Umazawa himself. All right, let's head to combat. This finally cannot get through on anything, which is a little sad for me. And it's just a 2-3. Right. That's the, the, how low the bar. That's how low the bar has been this game. I will send zero at Mr. Tim Rude. Uh, I will not block. All right, so before damage, I'm going to uh, display the power of of Takanuma. We're going to discard it to channel, mill three, and then we will put a creature back into my hand. One, two, three. Ooh, is that, is that Godul Lurker? I'm going to go ahead and take Yuriko, pay the two mana needed, and put this back in my hand. All right, so after ninjutsuing this in, we will have a Satoru ability. We actually have to Google whether Commander Ninjutsu is ninjutsu, and it is. So I will look at the top three and put one of them in my hand. Tim, Tim could take one. The Yuriko trigger, you guys will take the zero. Hey, that was the other zero I requested. Can Sorry. you put in a request for more zeros, or? That was it. Oh, okay. that was all, that's all zeros. You should have asked me five minutes ago. All right, we'll pay zero. Yeah, zero, yeah. Uh, for Ornithopter. Uh, and then I'll pass to BZ. Okay, nothing on end step. Let's just draw. We're really hitting our land drops, which is which is nice. We'll play a swamp. Super solid. I love hitting those land drops. Oh, two mountains? No, uh, two swamps. They're all swamps. Oh. It says right there. There's a definitive symbol. Mm -hmm. And if you read Japanese at all, I bet that says swamp. I'm willing to put money. <laughs> what's this? What's that Japanese symbol? Does that read? This one reads mountain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm pretty sure that says fire, but you know. All right, I think we're going to try to make a money move this turn. I think money we're, moves. I think we're going for money moves. We'll make a money move. We are making money moves. So I'm going to cast for six Iname Death Aspect. Oh, it's, Lord. It's a spirit. It doesn't have flying, but it certainly has wings. <laughs> when it 
Mm -hmm. when, it, when it enters the battlefield, I can search for any number of spear cards and put them in my graveyard. If I do, I shuffle. I mean, I have nothing that's resolving. All right, let's go do it. All right, so we're going to get Kagamaro, Bloodgast and Nether Trader, Midnight Banshee, Kuro Pit Lord, and Patron of the Nizumi. And we kind of have those on standby if Junji ever dies. For any reason, I don't know why that would happen. But just in case she were to die. You have two ways to do it on board. <laughs> I have two <laughs> ways to do it on board. That is true. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to... Oh, boy. I kind of just want to sit here. I don't really... I'm going to just pass. I'm a coward. I'm willing to admit that. Untap upkeep, draw. How many cards in your hand, BZ? Uh, that's a good question. Three. It's very important. <laughs> Don't say... Like, oh, yeah, yeah. I see, I, I see it. I Hopefully sunken ruins ones. for turn and pass. Pass? If that's not the sketchiest thing you ever saw, I don't know what is. Okay. Untap upkeep. Get my ass to Draw. I will... Yeah, not really much reason to go to combat. Um, I guess I'll just... I guess I'll just pass. Let's all just chill, guys. Passing, yeah. passing. Pass of the turn, Ski. So we're gonna go ahead and untap for my turn. Apparently my deck needs to be tapped too. I will draw. Play swap for turn. All right, we're going to tap seven mana. Seven mana? Yeah, it's, it's not as crazy. It is good, it's just not crazy. We're gonna cast Oh yeah, we knew about that. Seagate Restoration, which you guys did know about. So how many cards do you have in your hand? I have five. So you would get, would you'd go five. up to 11, and then you'd have no max hand size forever? Yeah, so I would draw six. I will Fierce Guardianship. All right, I think we're going to count. fighting over this? I think we're going to counter back, and we're going to try and mana drain in return on your Fierce Guardianship. Hmm. I'll tap my commander. Two... Oh my God, more things are happening. Out. I will. Oh my God, more things are happening. I'm gonna tap this. It's busting banks. Bank, busting bust banks. Like, finally, to my draw time a card. Sure. That resolve. So this will be countered, and unfortunately, because the really I, weird part, yeah. I never move to my second main. I will get three colorless mana on my next main, which will be this turn. Very soon. And then I will draw five cards because I only have four. Hands. Yep. So I mean, you got two cards out of his hand. You did. One, two, three. And I have no max hand size for the rest of the game. And my attacks are actually very poor now, um, unfortunately. We did it. That's how you know you did it against the ninja deck. Is when they just finally stop. Are you going to use that three mana to eat ginger brew? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to eat my ginger brew quite yet. I do I do have plans to eat him. Just not yet. So I will pass the beast. He's not done yet. All right, I'll draw. Sweet man's turn. Let's go. Counterspell. <laughs> Literal counterspell. Swap is in play, and it's going to get back Bloodgast. Shocker. All right, let's move to combat. We are going to send five at John, and we are going to send three at Cherries, and the trigger is going to sack Bloodgast, and I'll draw a card. Absolutely. Um, anything before blockers, PZ? I'm not going to do anything else before blocks. Right. I will declare my blocker as Baleful Strix on the spirit guy that sacrifices to draw. The unbeatable <laughs> rat token monster. It is a good magic card. I will take that damage. All right, All right. five so commander and a trade. So you take five and these will trade. So it goes to your graveyard as that, so you cannot get. Or wait, you can you? Good question. I'm you, not going to anyway. I bet you that dies. Yeah, I bet three damage kills a one one. Yeah, it is that. These will trade, puts it back on. Yeah, he activated that in the middle of that counter war and just, we forgot the pilot. So he's here, the pilot's here. Don't even worry about it, guys. Don't worry, nothing was ever missed. Perfect play on Shuffle Scott. Perfect plays only. So we're going to use Pyre of Heroes and we're going to sacrifice Junji and stick it in the yard to try to search for a spirit with mana cost six, I guess, or a dragon with mana cost six, which is kind of relevant. Junji's going to trigger and I'm going to reanimate one of these fine gentlemen and lose two life. We're going to make it a Kagamaro first to suffer. He's going to come back. And there's also a trigger on Nether Trader. And I'm thinking, certainly thinking about it. I think we will go ahead and bring him back. All right, now I get to go search. All right, so with those two death triggers, I'm going to resolve the actual Pyre of Heroes, which is going to get Kakusho, a six drop spirit and a six drop dragon. So yeah, it didn't really matter. <laughs> it was, Said that. It just didn't matter. I called that one. It didn't matter at all. We are going to pay one. We're going to play 
skull clamp. We're going to pay one. We are going to clamp the nether trader. I'm going to respond. Ooh. All right. Well, I'll try to equip. Six. Oh, yeah. This is that thing I was wondering about. I'm going to flash in dirge bat mutation. All right. And that just destroys a creature? Destroys a creature. Okay. I'm going to target Kamek. Hagamaro. I'm going to force oh, it. Oh, no. That is pretty good. I only have three cards in my hand. I mean, obviously three is still pretty decent. Yeah, it wipes a lot of people's stuff off the face of the planet. I think we're just going to have to do it. So, yeah, we will pay one in response. We'll sacrifice him to give everything a minus three, minus three, because I have three cards in hand. That's going to kill these two and fizzle my equip. Okay, uh, in response, I will flash in a cloud key. I'm going to say artifact. Turns out. Okay. Yep. Tiny creatures are going to go away. Yep, creatures are wiped out. No, you're good. I, was, I, wasn't, I wasn't even questioning you. I not questioning you, John. <laughs> <laughs> you're good. That was a noise. All right, yeah, another trader won't trigger because when two things die at the same time, that's not how it happens. Let's also go ahead and let's cast Animate Dead. I'm gonna try to get back this Junji. Yeah. yeah. There she is. Don't think we're gonna equip Skull Clamp. That doesn't seem like a good idea. I'll pass to Tim. Beefy dragons out, or beefy spirits. Time to wipe the board again. Do it. Play my land for turn, and I'm going to tap five for my commander, Tatsunari. Trigger, I will get a card. card, and then I'm going to put Rancor on her. Get a toad. And get a I toad. Love me a Rancor. I'll get a Kimi, and I will get a card. And I will pass the turn. All right. Untap. Fastest turns in the West. All right. <laughs> Untap, upkeep, draw. I'll play Henge Gate Pathway. I'm going to put Mind Link Mech into play. Now, is that the vehicle that clones whatever it's crewing? Yeah. It's a 4 3? But it has to be a non legendary okay. creature, and it still is a 4 3. It just yeah. has its abilities. It's unimpressive, to say the least. Don't be so hard on yourself. I will pass. All right. We'll go ahead and untap over here. So, Toro's just like, where'd you guys go? Wrong. I'm sure I had a cookie right here. Interestingly enough, I think to start my turn, I'm going to bounce Kakusho to Beezy's hand. Oh, what the heck? What bounce am I supposed to do about that? Feel good. What does that mean? Put it back in your hand. Well, I can respond. I was like, I don't know. Just put it back in your it hand. like you want it back in my hand, though. So I kind of just want to no. cash out and get what I can out of it. So I, I'll respond. I'm going to. Oh, maybe you want me to. Maybe. <laughs> maybe you want me to do that. So then I can't do it on Junji. Mm. <laughs> Whoa, that would be true. That would be a fair thing. And then they'd both be dead. And then you still couldn't push to me dead. All right. You know what? I want this life. I'm going to okay. sacrifice Kakusho and trigger it. All right. So we're all going to lose five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. That was weird. All right. I'm going to gain 15. Go back to my starting total. I'm going to have two black mana. And since this works in a weird way because it's a mana ability, I will return another trader to the battlefield. Yes. Which is lucky because I did want you to sacrifice it, you fool. But you go bog targeting BZ! Go bog me. Whew! We saved the trader at the last minute. That is legitimately what I was going for, and I did need that to happen. Uh, well, you did sack it, so this is actually a fizzled spell. Yeah, that's a fizzled spell. And it Get goes straight here. to my graveyard. Get out of here. With your fizzled spell. Scram. Thanks for dealing with all that, cherries. You're welcome. We're going to tap two mana for Ornithopter of Paradise. Another artifact. In case anyone's keeping track. Yeah, there's, there's artifacts in this deck. We'll play. One mana guy. Okay. We'll also play uh, one mana guy. Okay. Do you have any more one mana guy? Yeah. We'll play one mana guy. Jeez. Got any good cards in there? Ha <laughs> ha. Zing. Got them. I think that might be. Yeah, I'm just thinking if there's anything else I want to be doing here. You can attack with Satoru. Anyone's wide open for attack, surely. Yeah. No. Pass. <laughs> Untap. Draw a card. 
All right. Well, that was one of my best drops. We did full BZ, guys. Yeah, you got you got me. Bamboos me pretty good. Well, I didn't. I, I felt did. like it was 50-50. It right? was 50-50. It's like, do I let him? Well, I think it's better to sack because you get you both get the trigger and the brazen bow or fizzles, which yeah. is just an upside. If you're trying to like counter Kakusho on the way back or something, I don't. I just want the trigger. So I will play the best land in my deck, Leech Ridden Swamp. It's back. Does enter tapped? It enters tapped. All right. So let's go ahead and cash in this Nether Trader for two cards. Makes sense. Kaching. There is a kaching noise. All right, we'll get a, another tribal payoff card. Let's start. Let's start helping these spirits out. We're gonna say Door of Destinies is naming spirits. Yeah. Yikes! All right, I guess I can afford to equip onto the death aspect here. I don't really want to attack now because I feel like I'm uh, a little bit. Uh, I, I, the word you're looking for is public enemy. Number public one. enemy. That's what I was. That's what I was gonna say. All right, I'm gonna pass. All right, untap, upkeep, draw. All right, I'm going to tap four mana. And mutate Dreamtail Heron onto Kimi. Okay. So you get a draw card. And I will draw a card. Glad that Dirge Bat's gone. Mm-hmm. Look at that be gone. I'm going to also tap Nuts. Yeah, that was how you always tapped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah anyone who saw something else is wrong. It doesn't make... Oh, I can actually do this. I don't know why you're so keen on le I leaving am... up your colorless land. I don't know. This? Yeah, you're so keen on it. Yeah, that, why didn't you tap that? I don't want to. That would have definitely made it easier. <laughs> and then I'm going to tap all the land anyways. And put shielding plaques on Tatsunari. Oh, that's good. What does that do? It gives her hexproof. Or shroud? Shroud. Shroud. All right, so you're going to get a Kimi. We're going to lose one, and you gain one. Yep. And so I it will... is hexproof? So, yeah. I will get a Kimi. I'll draw two cards, because a Kimi will come in. I will then... This game just seems fake, because everyone's doing exactly what their deck wants to do. <laughs> I'm going to put down a Misty Rainforest and pass the turn. We don't fake games here at the Picking Nerds. We just have awesome games and people, so... And we fake them. No! We don't do that! <laughs> Alright, I'm going to tap my commander. So I'm going to pile it for my commander, and then I'm going to draw two. Uh, remove the last count... Sorry, draw one. Remove the last counter. I will get a treasure and a pilot. Mm -hmm. One money. All right, so I will then go to okay, draw. Going to play Containment Construct. Ooh! I was going to say, what's the synergy? But it's the freaking Shikori. Yep. And we're seeing the fact that it's Shikori when everyone is not playing removal. <laughs> I am going to draw two. Where's that removal? Maybe someday we'll start playing it. I'm going to discard this... Dreadnought? Consulate Dreadnought which I am able to exile instead of it go to the graveyard, which I will. So it is exile. And I'll play it this turn. And then I will play the Omen Keel. You had it ready. He was on the back. He didn't flip that, guys. There was no cutting, no <laughs> magic. He was, he's like, I'm never playing the other side, only the Omen Keel. Yeah. Kosa who? And then, com yeah, I will activate Reckoner Bank Buster. And I will swing at... Uh, uh, uh. Look at these raw stats. Um, a 5-4 and a 4-5. Don't worry, guys. I'm, I'm probably going to be able to sneak through I'm gonna, two damage on him. I'll, I'll swing 4 at Joe. What? I'm going, I'm going after this guy. Oh, he sent 4 at me, John. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, I think we're just going to go ahead and chump this guy. Oh, wow. Really? Damn. Doesn't have Menace? Or no? No, the Bank Buster just doesn't have Menace. Bank yeah. Okay, Buster's... so we're just jumping? Uh, actually, this this guy's probably worse. Say, do you hate Siren's Door Tamer? That card's so good. Yeah. I'm gonna Honestly, jump. I, I, I like it. I'm not complaining about Stop it at all. I'm just gonna Siren's throw it in front of the Bank Buster. I, was, I wanted the chump block. I want to keep my life total at a decent chunk so I don't get just blew all out of the game. What you're talking about. And then I will go to discard. I will discard Generous Gift. It'll just be discarded. Untap. And we will draw for turn. Not the worst, not the best, but not the worst. So we will play Field of the Dead and get a zombie. Sure ain't the worst. All right, and we'll get a little Frankenstein guy. There he is. There he is. Frankenstein. Little Frankenstein guy. Hmm. All right, combat. We're going to send both of these at BZ. Let me check. Uh, I cannot block either, so I'm hoping it's just two damage. Uh, we're, it's going to be a little more than two damage. Oh, boy. We're going to go ahead and we'll, we'll tap the two artifacts to make two mana. Put 
the change lane back to my hand and we will make a, a midnight sky, a midnight sky coming right at you. But before anything, we will trigger this. Where's your co? Is that in the hand or gone forever? I think it's hiding somewhere. It's in my grave. Okay. It's gone for now. We'll take, yes. we'll take this. My mistake. <laughs> All right. Also, what will it be? I'm going to pay four mana. That's a big one. Yeah, it is a big, is a big boy. We're going to get rid of this one and put a worm coil engine into play on the battlefield. I'm feeling like a genius right now. I'm feeling like a genius. All right. Before damage. I want to use tower and sacrifice Iname to draw two. I will not return Nether Trader because I suspected a big a big boy. I'm going to try to cast a Soul Shatter. And I'm going to cast a Force of Will. Mm, Force pitch, of Will. Those pitch. are about the same quality level of cards. Pitching a Mist Cloaked Herald. Ah, oh, the thing that he the thing that was just man. attacking me. All right, well it gets countered. I don't have free counter magic. That'll be model black spirits. So. Yeah. Well, we're going to make this even worse for you, BZ, unfortunately. What does that even mean? We're going to make it even worse for you because oh. we're actually going to ninjutsu this back again. Okay. And we're going to put into play this, making a clone of Worm Coil Engine. Couldn't roll my eyes harder at you right now. So I take 13. So you're going to take 13 and I'm going to gain 12. Oh, the retribution will be swift, my friend. <laughs> All right. And uh, if you can tell the difference between these two Worm Coils, you're very perceptive. You're very perceptive because they look exactly the same. Uh, you didn't even gain my life. I don't care about your life. Boop, boop, boop. All right, I'm going to untap. I'm um, yes, I'm officially tapped out here. I did make an assumption there. Drop. All right, let's go two, four, six. We're going to cast Kyoki, Sanity's Eclipse. When I cast a spirit or an arcane spell, of which my deck has zero, <laughs> target opponent removes a card in their hand from the game, so they exile it. Also going to get cast trigger on Door of Destinies. I'm going to play Fabled Passage as my land, and I'm going to go get a land. Here it is. Let's go to combat. I mean, Cherries oh, is just loving being the threat right now. He's oh. loving it. Oh, it's a lot. I'm not supposed to do this. Yeah, he's loving it. <laughs> he thought it was funny. I'm going to swing at you for four. Yeah, um, I don't have any box for your four. All right. In case it matters. It was actually five, which is correctly noted now, but... You know, it gets pumped by the door of Destiny. Yep. All right, I'm going to sacrifice Junji to the Frexian Altar. I'm going to put it in the command zone for the first time. Two mana taxed. I'm going to add two black and get a death trigger, of which I'm going to reanimate a Nami, death aspect, and lose two life. I'm going to get another trigger to go and tomb for some spirits. I'm going to throw in... Plague Drasulka, He Who Hungers, and Ashen Skin Zubera. Kind of just cards I don't want to draw. And I'm going to pay another two mana after that first initial two to play. Krovican Horror, which will trigger the spirit Lord Door. It says, at the end of each turn, if it's the second creature card down in my graveyard, I can return it to my hand. More importantly, it says pay one, sacrifice a creature, deal one to any target. So officially, BZ has to keep track of the order of his graveyard. Yep, I don't think I've really messed it up yet this game, but currently this is the order, it has to stay that way. And I am now, so I already tacked, done. All right, I'm gonna fetch. All right, and then I'm gonna fetch. All right, I'm gonna get Zagoth Triome, mm -hmm. and I will proceed to my turn. Well, uh, you can't have more than two keys, right? That just could never happen. It's already happening. No, more than two. He's got two. Oh. There's no way he could get a third, right? We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I'm going to go to combat. I'm going to send Kimi on the ground at John Jones and Dreamtell Heron, aka Kimi, in the air at Joe Cherries. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I don't have any blocks for the three mana or the three damage. I'll block with this pilot. You throw pilots under the bus so fast. Oh, after blocks. Pilots under the bus. Something's actually going to happen here. Oh, after blocks before damage? Yeah. Ninjutsu! I'm gonna be my own ninja. And I'm gonna ninjutsu Nashi. Ooh! Oh, the Heron comes back. And the Heron comes back. So the Heron's nice. back in your hand, and I'm gonna be hit for three. Right. Who draws first? I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna take three. I'm gonna take three yeah. Well, you'll no. take three either way, but yeah. So we'll take three, and then we will flip. Everyone reveals the top card of their library, and he can cast one with by paying its mana cost in the form of life. Land. Colossal Plow. Wow. Oh, wow. Might be this. 
<laughs> all right, one life for a changeling for all, outcast. For all of the future ninjas Everybody he's going to have. He's just exiled forever? Yep, they just... Changeling outcast is mine. Yeah. All mine. All right, I'm going to tap four and Aaron my mutate my Kimi. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's draw another card. <laughs> it's like I want Kimi. Oh. Does, oh, yeah, I want to mutate the draw, yeah. And then I will proceed to my end step. And I will not discard because I have no maximum hand size. On ah, this good. I'm glad you remembered this time. Okay. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Oh, Wrath of God. Wrath of God. Do you have a response, Mr. Force of Will? No, I do not have any responses. He uses Force of Will. I might. I might just have one. Hmm. I mean, basically, I have this Provigan Horror to sling one damage at somebody or something. Or I will sacrifice an Ame to shoot. Doesn't matter. Everything's dead. Joe cherries for one. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I need to you gain one off of that, or just hit for one. Look, this is from <laughs> alliances. I think <laughs> it was probably too good as a four mana two two already. So I can't gain life. All right, so everything dies. We got some lots of things dying, lots of things dying, and then we got these, which will trigger into making some worms. Let's all every everybody draw a worm. All right, and here they come. We got a death one. We got a life one. We got a death one. We got a life one. And Satoru is immune to God. Uh, no, he's not. He's actually dead. Rancor is going to go back to my hand. Yes, that does go back to your hand. That is true. I'll allow it. Play the Zorius Chancellery. It's going to bring back uh, Tawara. The power of the Bounce Lands. We have so many spell lands now. Bounce Lands are getting much more powerful. I will say that. They, I'm still not there yet. I think you might be. I think BZ might be coming around too slow. He's a he's a boomer in Magic. He like if something improves over time, it takes a while for him to come around on it. I'm just going to do a quick uh, mana tapping takes these back. shift. Yeah, it's, 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 it is a takes these back. Season. Casual it's game, just, guys. Casual game. Yeah. It will be takes these back. Season. My card is very much not specific. what you want to be. Very card. specific. <laughs> um, up. I wonder if he's uh, going to play a double blue or a double, uh, or a double white spell. Right, right, right. Let's activate the commander. Yep. Going to draw two. Discard. Sorry. All right, you'll get a pilot. Yeah, I'll get a pilot. And I will. I'll pass. Oh, uh, well, hold the phone. At the end step. Oh my God! The second creature down in my graveyard since I'm the, the arbiter of that, and I'm gonna put it back in my hand. Okay, fair enough. I hope you have to spend four mana on that piece of poop again. I will. It'll be a five-five. <laughs> That's a standard rare now. Or it'll be a five-five because of my door destinies. Oh my God! All right, let's untap all this and draw. All right, so we're going to play Atawara as my land for turn. Go to and combat. miss your trigger. Uh, we didn't miss any trigger. Look, it's right here. Uh-huh. Didn't miss anything. Your words say otherwise. You can use the pilot to crew any of these. Mm -hmm. And that's a 4-4, four, four, so I'm eat my guys. So I think I'll just leave the two death boys back. And I will hit Tim for three lifelink and Beezy for three lifelink. Bummer. That was a that was me being nice. No ninjutsu, huh? No ninjutsus, no. We were going to cast one of my favorite cards in this whole deck. Ginger Brute? Uh, unfortunately, Ginger Brute already died. He... Yeah, I'm just hoping for something tame. It is tame, but it's cool. We're going to play Ooh. Mr. Suzuki. Ooh. The car? <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, we're going to then plus up to draw a card, and I will not have to discard because I attacked this turn. That talisman is tapped? Uh, yes, this talisman is tapped. It was half tapped. It, it's fully tapped now. He used half the mana. I will then tap one to play Changeling Outcast. I had one of those. And we're going to... Oh, I had one of those. And we'll pay five for Mr. Umazawa, who in lore isn't even really an Umazawa. It might that, not he, be. He, no one wants he, a question. He, yeah, he claims it. So this is Mr. Zuzuki. No. Is... Shizuki is now phased out, so and I will pass to B. Did you make anything with him? I plus and I drew a card. All right, I'm gonna also draw a card for free though, and put this land or this thing back that I draw. Definitely a curled land. It is curled. I don't know what it is though. All right, let's get a swamp onto the battlefield. Don't worry, whatever this is is curled too. Magic cards, modern foiling. Okay, That's why you don't get foils. He's counting his mana. I'm thinking about Junji. Cost a million. <laughs> 
Damn, he only has attacks of two? Yeah, but he's been putting in the graveyard, so he's been it's yeah. only it's only gonna cost him seven to do. And it's a big it's getting big. That that Thor of Destiny. What what we've learned from all of your things over here is that no one's removing artifacts. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, wanna get to five here, and then also two more. Oh. We're gonna cast Junji again and trigger my hour. Or my door. <laughs> not an hour. I don't know what that even would be, but it's not that. It's not that, folks. All right, I'm going to use Fraxing Tower to sacrifice Junji. Damn, immediately? Jesus. To take two damage. I, I'm going to take I, that Worm Coil Engine. I'm just going to go ahead and guess it. Yeah. That, it wasn't Junji, it was Worm Coil Engine the whole time. All right, I have two black mana. Good for me. I'll play Kravikin Horror again, triggering the Door of Destiny. Back and bigger than ever. He's is this a spirit? No, it's not. Oh, no, it isn't. Six, six, Pass the turn. Oh, Lord. All right. I'll untap. I'll draw. Oh. Oh. There you are. Oh. Oh. I'll play my land for turn. I'm going to return. I'm going to sack Man Beacon to Ooh. return Tetsunari to my hand. He's got big plans. I'm going to play Tetsunari. Man, you've drawn so many cards off Elemental Bond. I'm going to draw a card. Off the Elemental Bond. <laughs> I'm then going to... All right, I'm going to pay two mana for Sylvan Library. Trigger, I get a Kimi, I draw a card. I do really like that Sylvan Library art. Very nice. It's not as good as the Kimi art. Well, well yeah, but... Well. All right, I'm going to get... I'm just going to get this down. And I'm going to play Dense Canopy. What does that do? Creatures with flying can't block creatures without flying. There's more of those cards? All right, so we all lose one from Kimi, and you gain one. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to pass the turn. So on top, so all this fracking mana I have. Oh, my God. Supreme oh verdict. Any responses, Jerry's? Uh, no, that can't be countered. Well, I mean, I'm going to respond, I guess. I want to throw, since I didn't really tap as good as I could have, I'm going to throw this Karakian Krovican Horror at Kaito. Oh, um, he's not here. He's at not here. Joe Cherry. Right. Enjoy your one damage. I will enjoy the one damage, and our, we, we will be wiped. All right, hand two of those over to me. I like I like uh, these two. What do you like? Tashar. Four. Um, I'm going to play Adawara. Mm -hmm. um, going to cast Steel Overseer, which costs one less. That's a historic spell. And bring back to Tori. Yep, because you have one floating with the Chancery. Right? Because of Cloud Key. Oh. Cloud Key. Oh, oh I just wasn't sure if you tapped yeah. that. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. And then. I will crew my commander. That's an 8 8. I will crew the Consulate Dreadnought. It's a 7 Eleven. We're not sponsored. I will uh, go to the start of the combat. I will have my commander gain vigilance and lifelink. I will swing eight lifelink at Joe and seven on the ground at Rude. All right, Joe so takes eight. So it takes eight. I so and then you're gonna uh, you're gonna mill the top seven. For what? Uh, off of Omen Keel. So whenever reveal card control deals combat damage to a player, that player exiles that many cards from the top of their library. I may play lands from those as long as they remain exiled. It's any vehicle. So we're both yeah. going to. Yeah, seven for you and then eight for you. Oh wow. So sorry, you only need the lands. Yeah, they do get ex everything else is exiled, but I do only need to know about the lands. Oh, Jenga Taxis is gone. And then I will. Then you gain me. Yeah, you given. Catacombs. Where do they go? They're just exiled. They're just exiled. They need the lands. Well, the lands can go kind of go under the Omen Keel. Eat your heart out, Dothy Voidwalker. Look how many cards are under this thing. Um, and then I will pass the turn. All right. Untap. Zombie. Zombie. We'll pay three. To activate this, I think. Creeping tar pit. And then I will pay seven for my commander. 
Okay. Yep. Go to combat. Yep. Send us a John. Mm -hmm. Can't be blocked. Before that, we're going to ninjutsu. Get back to my hand. As. And we're going to make this. Oh, I don't think there's anything good. I think I'm just going to be a lifelink worm. A lifelink worm. Okay. So we're going to do this trigger here. One, two, three. All right. I'll put that there. I'll put the rest in the bottom. Okay. So three lifelink damage? Three lifelink damage. So I'll gain three. I think we're going to just... All of our life totals are just moving. They're not going down anymore. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to minus this to make a ninja. Go ninja, go ninja. Go! All right, and here's my 1-1 one, one ninja. No block. He no, he can no be blocked. That not is, no block. That is Ninja Mike Wazowski. <laughs> <laughs> and I will pass to BZ. All right. I'll well, now I can't unsee that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go for... A daily dispute as an additional cost to cast it. I'm going to cash in this death touch worm, I think. The death touch worm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I kind of want the lifelink. No, maybe death touch actually kind of gives me more life. Oh, whatever. I'll take lifelink one. Do you think you want to put uh, the skull clamp on it? I mean, just... I don't think you're the boss of me. I'm, I'm gonna... not being the boss. I'm asking you I think question. he's joking. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get with a trigger. I'm going to get another trigger back. I'm going to then draw two and make a treasure. Here it is. Treasure. All right, two mana. Let's play a Jet Medallion about 100 years too late. But you know what? We're still <laughs> going to take it. It's still a good card. We'll go to combat. We got a 5-5. Five five. We're going to... I got to, I think, start the John Jones damage train while I can. So I'm going to attack you for five. I will Shadow. take five. Shadow is other... Only shadow, shadow other man. things to shadow, yeah. Not fear, right? Creatures of flying can't block creatures of flying. That's true. I'm going <laughs> to equip Skull Clamp to my big boy. And we're going to Phyrexian Tower it for two black mana and two cards. With the floaters, I'm going to play Banshee of the Dread Choir. Don't call Ooh. them the floaters. Yeah, okay. We'll <laughs> put a counter on uh, Door Destiny. We're never calling them the floaters again. We're not calling them the floaters. Oh, Myriad with that? That's pretty neat. Oh, gross. There's a lot of stuff going on. That's pretty gross. All right. I'm going to just turtle up here, I think, and let's equip... One of my creatures. How about the Death Touch Worm and Pester? All right, I think at end step, I'm going to have to slow down. I'm going to Nature's Claim your commander. Oh, oh my lord. It's finally dead. Yeah. Thank you gain four life, though. So you're Tim welcome. Rude, Green Swords. This will never be forgotten. <laughs> All right, I'm going to Sylvan Library trigger. Yep. I draw three, right? Three, and then you pick one of them to keep, unless you want to do more and you pay, pay some life. I'm just going to keep one. So you didn't take... Oh, yeah, so... But Tim, you, you have the maximum hand size, actually. Oh, yeah, that's true. He has a maximum life size. He does, I was about to say, he doesn't have... I'll play my land for turn. I believe you. And then... I'm going to... tap six mana. And Meat Hook Massacre for four. Oh. Tim. Oh, boy. I can't let that resolve in any world, so I'm going to go ahead and Fierce Guardianship that. The other free counter spell. Lame. Lame. Why can't you let it resolve? Because I will lose to all these. I will just die. One of us is going to die. How's he going to crew? How's he going to crew? With this thing. It's going to die. Oh, well, he's going to crew. He'll find a way. He'll find a way to I need creatures. It. I'll find a way. I need creatures. Yeah, well, so do I. Well, then you should have played him instead of meet up mask. <laughs> is this exiled? No, it's not. Okay. I don't know about all those dumb... Free yeah, counter spells. Have free, more, <laughs> I have more freebies in there. I do have at least one more free counter spell in my deck. Can't wait. All right, oh, I'm just gonna play Shimmerwing Chimera. What am I looking? Oh, one am I love that card. Oh, oh, it's an uncommon what from Theros Beyond at? Death. Oh, oh my God! I just had to analyze this art. Okay, we got a reader. No, no, it's art. I oh. didn't know what I was. It, it's a Chimera. A looker. <laughs> it's a looker. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna draw a card yeah. off Elemental Bond and pass the turn. Element again is apparently insane. I mean, let's not forget wizard class has basically drawn him 10 cards by not making him discard every turn. That's true. It's also true. Okay, so I'm going to cast Rebecca, Architect of Ascension. So for each number of art, like the CMC, yeah, yeah, the mana cost of each artifact, my artifacts have protection from. So currently that would be one, two, three. Zero. One, two, three. Uh, yeah. Okay. So when I cast Rebecca Historic, I will give it back a. Uh, Dream Sculptor? Uh, yes. 
That does seem quite good. So it wouldn't be a theorem sculptor. It would be um, dig site engineer. All right. Yeah. Dig site's back for more. Now she, because she can crew things now. Makes sense. And then I will play Felidar Retreat. Yippers. Yippers. I will crew, 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 crew. I will Fabled Passage. All of my creatures will get a plus one, plus one counter. And then combat. Consul Dreadnought will get Vigilance and Lifelink. And I will swing. They have to all go at Joe to eliminate someone. All right, so it's 22 at Joe. And I'll put a uh, plus one, plus one counter on my artifact creatures. 26 now. I have nothing. Yeah. I'm dead. This is your land? I'll crack it now. Wait, did I miss something? Oh! Okay, so because Rebecca gives protection, so they can't block. Correct. I don't have anything. I'm dead. I'll, I'll crack the lands too before. Bonus damage. Damage, yeah. Just... Heading out. <laughs> Heading out? You're just going to leave? Oh, I'm going to head out. You and me, Tim. Ride or die. Let's go. Come on, Sylvan Library. That is a pass. Okay. So maybe we can do something, Tim? It seems like the shields are somewhat down. I don't know if we can try to... All right, I'm going to draw a card, though. This has been not a good magic card for a long time with Dwarf Dusty. He's going to cast Shire, which does not going to give any bonuses to anything. I'm going to use Phyrexian Tower. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to make that mistake, Cherries. We're going to quit Skull Clamp, and then I'm going to Phyrexian Tower it. So I get two black mana, I draw two cards, and I'll pay black with one of the mana, so I have one floating, to get back Nether Drake. So let's draw two. All right, I'll use the mana floating and two additional mana to cast a Infernal Kirin, which triggers the door. That's like I do. Now, whenever I play a Spirit of Arcane, target player reveals their hand and discards all cards with that mana cost. Wouldn't worry too much about that. <laughs> Don't worry. So we're going to go to combat. Uh, I will no. dispatch the problem creature. The Nether Trainer? No. Or the Banshee? The Banshee. Can't stop you there. All right, so maybe we just leave back the Death Touch and John, I will attack you for eight with Shadow. I will take eight. Um, yeah. All right, let's equip Infernal Kieran, as it has flying, I guess, and I'll pass the turn going to my end step. <laughs> this thing is the stupid second creature down. So I'll get it back to my hands. That is all. All right, I'm gonna untap. It's up to you to finish the job. Uh, at the beginning of my upkeep, I think I'm gonna bounce Dense Canopy back to my hand just to protect myself, because I can't block anything. It might be a downside. It yeah, might a it downside. might have a downside. So I'm gonna bounce it back to my hand, and then I'm gonna Sylvan Library. Oof. I'll just do one. There's that Bane of Progress we've been waiting for. In your enchantment deck, I'm sure you play that card. <laughs> Here it comes. So I will... This somehow makes double green. Yes, it does. So I will play Idol on a Blossoms. I will draw a card. I'm going to play Gem Razor. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to mutate it onto my spirit. Yep, so you get to naturalize something. So I'm going to naturalize. What's the best thing there? The Dreadnought is the biggest. Dreadnought is the biggest. Mindlink has flying and it's a clone though, so maybe. My, my, Mindlink has flying. Hold on. The clone part. Hold on. Doesn't it have, doesn't Rebecca give protection from all those, all this stuff? Uh, yes. And that is four CMC. I don't have a four CMC artifact because he killed it. Well, that just lines up perfectly. So well, yeah. Yeah, so I'll get rid of Dreadnought. And then I'm also going to mutate again. Wow. Uh, I'll put it underneath. So I will get rid of. What do you think, Mind Link Mac? Next got flying. Maybe that's just the next best thing. Yeah, I'll give her to Mind Link Mac. Okay. And that's what I'm removal feels like. Yes, the turn. I don't know why I thought Gem Razor was the one that gets lands. If anyone's asking, Ask Tim Rude just drew it. I promise. I Actually, did just draw it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it looked terrible if you didn't. It's like in your opening hand. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm never gonna cast this. I will play Psy. Master Thopterus, that's a historic spell. I'll get back 
Hyperion Sculptor. And then I'll play Cyberdrive Awakener for four. So the vehicles basically get crewed as four fours? Yes. Okay. So they don't have their normal power toughness, they become four fours. Gotcha. Um, for this purpose, seven seven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which includes this treasure, by the way, and this cloud key. All right, so treasure, cloud key, and the two vehicles are four fours. I will spend two mana. Make a car instruct? So make a car instruct. Car instruct. He is gigantic, and we will determine his power toughness when it matters. Yeah. Um, okay, so the treasure is a 4-4, four, four, the cloud key is a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, I cast... There's a thopter somewhere. That was a historic spell. I'll bring back Shimmer Mirror. Absolutely. You can never have enough crap on your board. <laughs> I, I really I really can't. I'm just going to play the land. Um, everything is going to get a plus one, plus one counter. Oh, great. Base, can I get more <laughs> dice, please? So, all of my artifact creatures are flying. So, that will be ideally, I think, enough. So, this is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 at BZ. Um, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Uh, so, we'll do 21 at you. I think the rest on the ground at Brood should be enough. So it would basically just be those four dudes on the end there? <laughs> yes. So those four at Brood and those these four at me. And they have protection from what mana costs? My these creatures on the ground don't have protection from anything you have. One, because I don't have a four drop artifact out regardless. Um, but these are just creatures, not artifact creatures. Um, they're just big. Uh, and then the artifacts, I have protection from zeros and not fours. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to make some moves. I'm going to pay a total of six for Curtain's Call. We're going to hit Rebecca and we're going to hit Gem Reason. I don't know if it saves me, but it's about as close as I get. Because they have flying is the part that's right. screwing me. So yeah, I can't really do anything except block your biggest guy. Yep. And then with Rude, um, I'll block your biggest guy. My biggest guy would be her next. Two fives and a six. Block a six. Two fives and a six. Take ten. BZ dead. I am dead. BZ, why did you have to kill my generator? Remember me. This artifact creatures are flying. It was the dense canopy of all the text on the card. If you would have just killed that thing. Oh man, as soon as you played the six, I was like, well, that's worse. This is that's just a game of me getting tripped. <laughs> I will trip you again from beyond the grave. And you gained all that life? All right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flash an Omen of the Dead and get Jim Razor back. See? You're welcome. <laughs> okay. I would have gotten any of my other mutate creatures back. All right, I'm going to Sylvan Library. And concede. <laughs> Let's do it. All righty. Oh, man. I thought I had something there. All right. Good game. Much protection. Yeah. Good games, everybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good games. Good games. Well played. Good games. Good games. Good games. Good games. Uh, yep. But that's all. Vehicles takes it down. Vehicles did take this episode absolutely down. Wait. Where can they find any of the two of you who might be on Twitter or Twitch? Tim, are you? Nope. Okay. Wait, wait. <laughs> John, did you, are you somewhere? I, uh, uh, I always forget. A couple places. Uh, you can find me at uh, twitch.tv slash Kurohitsuki, as well as on Twitter and Instagram, TikTok, all those places. I play uh, Commander on uh, over Twitch on Sundays, Mondays, and Fridays. So if you're looking for that deck and others spicy like it, you you can you'll you'll see me there, um, rocking stuff like that. So I mean, he's beaten the nerds twice now. So if we have you back, we just have to stomp you, or else our reputation is at stake. If, if, I, if that's how it has to be. Tim Rude's got the worst record on the whole channel. <laughs> <laughs> O2, O2, uh, with a secret one that he might win, but maybe not. We never know. Let's let's have him uh, end the video so they don't have to worry about it. All right, peace out, Chef Scott.